So I'm here to tell you to play on. Our theme today is include, inquire, inspire. But I kind of want to take a tangent on that. So I'd like to talk instead about self-exclusion, muddled inquiry, and slow motion inspiration. So what do I mean by self-exclusion? Well, I'm thinking about how when we're 12 or 13, we begin to be really embarrassed to be beginners in anything, right? We don't want to look foolish. We don't want to try new things because we're afraid we'll be uncool, we're afraid we'll do it wrong. Um, and besides which, it seems as if maybe the age for beginning things is over. You know, people tell us playtime is over and that we need to think, you know, we need to focus on the stuff we're good at. But I want to encourage us to think about play because play lights up our brains. We are designed, Stuart Woods tells us, to play our entire lives. And so my favorite piece of advice about staying playful is to go out and do something badly. And then, and here's the thing, keep doing it. Okay? Now this is my own form of muddled inquiry. And it brings me to a story that I've told before about how I wanted to learn how to draw. And people told me, friends told me, the best way to learn how to draw is to draw every day. So I went to the bookstore and I bought a really nice sketchbook and I sat down in the bookstore coffee shop and I drew my cup of coffee in pen. And the next day, there was a paper bag sitting around the house and so I drew a paper bag full of tissue paper. And then I made a drawing on the third day of my shoe and I nearly stopped the project right there. Abandoned it, failed. There was, I did not like that drawing. The proportions were all off, and I began to write on the drawing as to you know, how I could make it better, what was wrong with it. And then there was a moment when I realized that there was never going to be an end to the things that were wrong with my drawing. There would always be stuff wrong with my drawing, whatever the drawing, and I didn't want it to be about that. So I took a deep breath, I scribbled out that little bit of criticism, and I made another drawing the next day. And pretty soon the shelf in my study began to look like that. And that's just part of it. And the first time I told this story, I was on day 3,217. Today will be day 4,388. So that's 12 years three months and 12 days if you're doing the math. And that's every day. So like what happens if I'm sick? Well, yeah, you can draw a tissue, right? And here's the thing, it's like, it's this, it's this space in my life where I get to play. I get to slow down and look at something really closely. I get to get really messy with, with art materials. And I get to try to make a little painting or a little drawing. And it's not about willpower for me. It's, it doesn't take any more willpower than it would take to eat chocolate every night. It's my treat. <coughs> and so one of the things I've been thinking about as I continue this muddled inquiry is how much our culture values excellence and how we're told from a very young age and we often believe ourselves, if a thing is worth doing, it is worth doing well. Right? We've said that to ourselves, we've said that to our students. Let's set the bar higher. And I will always be grateful to the English author G.K. Chesterton because in an essay on amateurism, he wrote, if a thing is worth doing, it is worth doing badly. So my call to you today is to go ahead. If there is something that you really want to do, something worth doing in your eyes, 
I don't care, is it playing the trombone? Is it uh, building matchstick models? Is it recording your memories of your parents and grandparents? Is it making little drawings in a sketchbook? I want you to go out and do something badly. And then I want you to keep doing it. Because it's in this process that we find a kind of slow motion inspiration. And so that's something I would really like us to go back and share with our friends, with our students, that it's really important to play and keep playing and to take that play seriously. Play on. Thank you.